Dr. Roy Mogira, you're the, the biosafety authority. People here have no clue what bio or GMO is, or, uh, you know, the church is saying deep, there are deep-seated issues with GMO. What's going on? Yes, Jeff, uh, that is uh, what you can see and hear from the streets and uh, the levels of public uh, awareness and public education on uh, this particular subject is, uh, is, uh, has been uh, for a long time negatively influenced by negative reporting and uh, deliberate misinformation. If, if you go to the internet right now and simply Google GMO, you will find very, very um, absurd, very shocking kind of um, information. And this is what our public is feeding on. What this reflects, Jeff, is a challenge that uh, we want to take uh, head on, that uh, indeed the levels of public awareness and public education among if, uh, ordinary street person walking around the streets, among uh, even some technical levels, you will see uh, quite levels of low, low public education and awareness. And that is um, uh, one of the roles that uh, we play in uh, facilitating public education. What we have done is uh, to make um, an appeal for an enhanced uh, facilitation to be able to go down uh, to conduct uh, public education. And one thing, the strategy that has been taken by the Kenya Kwanzaa government and uh, is um, the relocation of the National Biosafety Authority from uh, the parent ministry of education to the Ministry of Agriculture under the State Department of Crop Development. This has been done through the executive order that was issued by His Excellency the President. One thing that we see that is uh, of, of um, uh, importance or relevance or an advantage in that move is giving us the uh, relevance within the crop development state department. We consider that GMO or genetic modification is a technology. When we did the law, the Biosafety Act, we perceived this as a product of a technology. And therefore, we domiciled the responsibility of biosafety uh, with the cabinet secretary responsible for science and technology, which has traditionally been domiciled in education.